What's good, Prime Furniture's family? Look, we back again with another video. And look, guaranteed this one a banger. Very knowledgeable, bro. I'm about to give y'all some knowledge that people have given me and that I learned over the course of time, some stuff I put together myself or whatever. And um, I'm gonna give it to y'all. But first of all, I owe y'all an apology. A double apology at that because my last video and my previous video, I meant to give y'all this knowledge, but I forgot while I was recording the video, you know, I was outside, I went to the store, all that stuff. Man, I forgot in the process. So I'm about to do it right now. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to DNA test y'all dog. I am gonna show y'all my dog's DNA, Gray, Prime Gray, my foundation female. I'm gonna show y'all the DNA of the dog that I'm breeding her to, what puppies we expecting, and the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The, um, the path forward for Prime Frenchies. So yeah, man, that's what we about to do. Stay locked in. If you're new here, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you've been here, put a like down there on the video. I appreciate y'all for being here. Let's go. Frenchies. So look, today we're going to be on the phone a little bit. We're going to be on the Color My Frenchies app. That's the app that a lot of big breeders that I know use. Not even big breeders, man. A lot of breeders I know that have Frenchies use to predict uh, their future litters and what puppies they expecting. Um, we're going to bring Gray in the video and um, I'm going to pull out the DNA kit and I'm going to show y'all exactly how to DNA swab your dog, the envelope it comes in, what it look like, how the bristles look when you get them, how to swab, um, sending them back, the wait time. Um, then I'm gonna show y'all the DNA and then we're gonna get on the Color My Frenchies app on the phone. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to navigate it, how to put in the DNA of your dog. I'm gonna show y'all a few of the menus. We're gonna really play on the app. We're gonna go into grave detail on the app. And um, I'm gonna show y'all like, you know, what we're gonna be expecting. All right, let me grab Gray real quick. Before I grab Gray, um, this is the envelope that is coming in. I hope I'm back further enough. But it comes in the animal genetics. You see the name right there? Animal genetics sends you the test kit. Um, you see it comes to Prime Frenchies. I blacked out my address for obvious reasons. Um, but this is how they send your DNA swabs. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up real quick. Bear with me. Sorry for the noise if that bothers you. All right, they send you the instructions right here. They send you the instructions exactly what to do on this card right here, but I'm about to show y'all, so we don't need that. Um, they send you two bristles right here. In case you mess up or whatever the case may be, they send them to you. But you can also request as many as you need. So if you have a litter, um, they don't recommend you to DNA test your puppies before two weeks, but after two weeks, it's fine to test your puppies for DNA. Um, but... Um, Say you have a litter of eight, say you have a litter of three, you can request three of these. You can request eight of these, they'll send them to you. Um, all right, so yeah, these your bristles right here. I'm gonna open them up and show them to y'all more. Hold up. All right, so these are your bristles, right? It's the package that comes in. You are gonna have to fill this out that's on your bristle package, so don't open this up and throw it away. Like, this, this, this is important. You're gonna have to put the date of your collection, um, your name, you're gonna have to put your animal's name, whether it's a canine, a feline, or whatever animal you're testing, and the date of your collection. And then also, um, what that say? That says right order number here. I leave this blank. I let them figure that out, and I always get my results back. I'll be fine. So let's open it up real quick. Let me show it to y'all. So you want to barely open it up, about this much. You want to barely open it up because you got to put your bristles back in here and send them off. So. All right, I got a bristle right here. I hope this is close enough for y'all to see it. But it's a bristle, that's all it is. It's a swab and you swab your dog's mouth. So let me grab Gray real quick. I'm gonna put this down, make sure it's in the safe space. Let me grab her real quick. And we about to do all it. Right, we got Gray right here. Y'all see it. Look, what are you doing? <laughs> She's sitting straight up. 
But we got Gray right here, all scared and stuff, as usual, frightened to be above the ground. But um, all right, let's grab a bristle. So you get your bristle, you get your dog. I like to have dogs elevated because when they elevated, they seem to be, might be a little bit frightened or whatever, but they, they seem to be more calm when you're trying to do something with them. So like I said before, you take the lip right here and you want to take your bristle. Look up, girl. You're going to take your bristle. Hold up. All right, you're going to take your bristle. Inside the cheek, I use my finger like this. Take your bristle inside the cheek, put it right there, twirl it around for 10 to 15 seconds. Sometimes I go longer just to make sure I get it. As long as the dog is staying calm, you're good. So, you want to make sure they haven't eaten. You want to make sure that they haven't. Uh, been eating around, licking other dogs' mouths and stuff like that because then the DNA can get, uh, you know, transferred and then you can end up with the wrong DNA for your dog or just a a, a, a wrong DNA um, sample. So you be real careful with this after you get it. I'm going to take it over here and put it in the, you drop it back in here. So I drop it back in there. Grab the second one. Put that back over here right quick. Grab the second one. I like to go to the other side, twirl it around again, 10 to 15 seconds. They are gonna move around a little bit, it's okay. Whenever she get comfortable with it, put it in there, twirl it around. If you're gonna, they are gonna do stuff like that. You just grab the cheek again, keep twirling it around. So like I said, I've done Gray's DNA already, but I've packaged it up already. Um, once you put it in here, once you put your swabs back in here, as you can see, like I said before, you're going to put your information on here. I'm not going to fill it out if you need help. Um, my links are down below. You can hit me up on Instagram or whatever link I have down there, and I'll, I'll walk you step by step through it. I don't mind. But you put it in here, put your information on there, and then they request that you tape it up. I fold it like this, wherever I opened it at, and I scotch tape it all the way around. Um, I put it in an envelope with their address up here. I sent it to this address. So the way I normally do it is I one night it. I one next day it to Animal Genetics and um, I've always gotten my results the next business day. Um, their turnaround time on their website, what they say is two to five business days, but I've always gotten mine the next day. So, um, but that's because I overnight it. I try to do it on like a Monday or Tuesday and by Wednesday or Thursday, I have my results back. Um, but yeah, so, Showed y'all how to do that, how to DNA test your dog, where to send it, and how, who I send it to, who I use. I love them. Um, so what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to talk about what Gray is. I'm going to put her DNA up here somewhere. I'm going to put it up here right now and in the next slide. And we're going to jump on the Color My Frenchies app. This is the fun part to me, man. Um, this is where you see what your dog is. Um what you could possibly produce depending on who you breed your dog to and um, but you got to remember man you playing with chemistry you playing with god you playing with dna you never know what you can get um so but this is a pretty accurate and um a pretty close assumption of what you're gonna get when you put two uh dogs together of certain dna's so we're gonna talk about what gray is we're gonna talk about what the dog is i'm breeding her to we about to jump on the phone i'm about to show y'all that right now so this next part right here is um the color my frenchies app um i can't put it sideways i don't think i can put it sideways no i can't put it sideways it has to be a uh, portrait so this the app right here man um and this way you're gonna come and put your dog's DNA and stuff in. So I'm on here already. And like I said, I already put great stuff in here. I got all kind of dogs in here, dogs I wanna breed to or whatever the case may be. But uh, I'm gonna click Prime Gray. So this is her DNA. I already put it in, but like I said, I'm gonna post it right here. So you're gonna y'all gonna be able to see what her DNA is and what I put in. So this is what she is. She's a fun base that carries 10 points. Um, she's KBRKY, which is the brindle gene. So gray is a brindle. Um, she doesn't carry the Isabella gene or the brown dilution. She doesn't carry the Coco gene. Uh, she carries the blue dilution gene. 
That's why she looks the way she's look. She looks. Um, she's massless. Um, she doesn't carry Merle. No Merle. She's no pie ball. Uh, she doesn't carry fluffy. She had, she doesn't carry fluffy, and she doesn't carry intensity. Right. So then you go to the next slide at the top right here, and it shows you Blue Brenda. That's exactly what Prime Gray is. Seen in the video, she looks just like that, right? She looks just like that, right? All right. So the next dog I'm gonna put up here is um, Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps is out of, uh, from Big Dog Stacks, from Big Dog Stacks Kennels or Frenchies. Um, he's right here. So this is what Michael Phelps is. You know, Brenda. He's an Isabella. He's actually a platinum Isabella. He carries cocoa. Carries a dilution gene. He's uh, covered in cream. He's also massless. No Merle. No pie ball. He doesn't carry fluffy. He doesn't carry intensity. And this is what he looks like. So I'm gonna post this picture right here of him. And I'm gonna post uh, a post from Big Stacks Instagram and show y'all what he looks like, what he actually looks like to show y'all how close the app is to how the dogs actually look. So you take those two dogs that you put in, right? And you go to a calculator at the bottom right. So the dam, you see at the top left, it says dam. The dam is the female dog. So you click right there, you click your female, it's prime gray all the way at the bottom. It puts her DNA in there. And then you click on the sir. The sir dog is the male dog, the dog that you're gonna breed your female to. Click right there, I'm gonna click Michael Phelps because that's who I'm gonna breed her to. And then you click all the way to the right at the top, it says colors. You click colors, boom. And that's what you could potentially get from that breeding and um you know the percentage that you might get so you know it says 25 percent. if you have four puppies you might get exactly what you see or you might you, you might get all blue brindles or you might get all blue funds or you might get all blue tan points or all blue trenders so blue brindle looks like gray nice looking dogs for real blue fun they go crazy i like the way they look i love blue funds um blue trenders i i don't know but I love the way this dog looks. Like, I don't know, but I love it. I love the way this dog looks. And these blue tan points, blue with tan points. So this is what Chino is, y'all. Um, and as you can see right here where it says B locus, and it has an uppercase B and a lowercase B, it says these, this dog carries a uh, chocolate. So that's the Isabella gene. And it carries two copies of the dilution gene. So you can make Isabellas with these puppies. So if I take this dog, and I breed this dog or even this dog. See, this dog carries a lowercase b as well, so it carries the Isabella gene. If I take either one of those dogs that carry the lowercase b, which all of them will because Michael Phelps is a, a, a full Isabella, so he's going to pass that Isabella gene on to all of his puppies. So if I take either one of these dogs, right? So I'm going to show y'all. So say I get a female from off of this litter. That's my potential right here. Say I get a female off of this litter. I'm gonna show y'all what it'll look like, my potential. So I got a blue with 10 point female off of that litter, right? Say I take that female, the potential, you see it at the top, it says potential, and I breed her to a dog that has the same DNA as Michael Phelps, which is probably gonna be uh, either Michael Phelps' brother or one of his puppies um, from another litter. And I breed with well, the potential to the Michael Phelps um, production we'll get these type of dogs. And this is the this is the goal right here. The Isabella's covered in cream. The the Isabella tan points, the lilac with tan points, the blue creams. All of these dogs right here with no brindle. That's what you're looking for. That's what I'm trying to get to anyway. That's what I like. That's my preference and that's what I'm trying to get. So this is what you're going to look forward to coming from Prime Frenchies, man. This is what we trying to get to. These are some beautiful dogs, bro. And that's what we trying to get to. So yeah, that was the color of my Frenchies app. Um, I'm gonna post the logo of the app up here. 
real quick. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to look at the app up here real quick. Uh, Gray over there chilling, so I'm not gonna bother no more. But that's the direction of prime Frenchies, man. That's where we going. Like, we really gonna have some prime Frenchies. Like, we got some top quality dogs over here. Like, like Stack say, man, we gotta have a whole litter full of hitters. When you have a little man, you shouldn't even, it shouldn't even be a top pick. All your puppies should be the top pick. Nobody should be able to come to your litter, or even you should be able to look at your litter and be like, this the best dog out of my litter. Like, all of your dogs should look the same, and that's what we're going to. Gray got the foundation, as y'all can see in the pictures back, uh, the pictures that I posted before, Michael Phelps got the foundation, and we just gonna build from there. Like, first of all, that's why I wanted to start it. I wanted to start, start, I wanted to start with a solid foundation, and then I wanted to build from there, because I want my dogs to be short, thick, and compact. I don't want long Frenchies. I don't want tall Frenchies. I don't want none of that. I wanted to start with, you know, solid Frenchies. And that's the path we're gonna go to, and that's what you can expect from us. Like I don't want, I don't want to breed any other type of friendship. That's what I want. Um, so that's how you work that app, man. That's how you do that. Like, man, you can do that. You get your DNA for your dog, and you plan, man. You don't ever just buy, blindly breed your dogs and, and and hope for you know whatever. Unless that's what you into, but that's not what we into over here. And that's not any of the people I work with. That's not what we into. We like to exit, plan, and execute our plan. So we can give the people that's going to buy dogs from us healthy dogs. Because when we do test their DNA, we do get their health as well. So we know if our dogs are healthy or unhealthy. Um, that's all you're going to get from over here. Good business and any of the people that you see me linked with or mentioning. You're going to get good business. You're going to get quality Frenchies. You're going to get structure out of your Frenchies. And they're going to be compact. They're going to be gorillas. Um, that's how you use the app. That's how you get down. Um, thank y'all for stopping by, man. If you made it this far, you might as well like the video. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the app. Tell me what you think about the video. If you like the video, leave them fire emojis down there. If you got any questions, you can leave it in the comments. As you can see, I'm very active on this channel. I will answer your questions. Um, thank you for watching the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all learned something and we got more to come. But I want to leave y'all with a message. If you're thinking about getting into dog breeding, man, get with some people. They know what they're talking about. They have done it before, maybe. And that's okay with teaching you and giving you the knowledge. They got people out here, man, when you start breeding, they're going to try to discourage you. They're going to try to tell you about the money that comes with the breed. And they're going to try to tell you everything bad that comes with breed. But they don't want to tell you anything good about it. They're just going to try to discourage you to get in it because they're scared that you might step on their toes. It's enough money out here for everybody, man. That's a market. Be an option. I heard Super say that in a video, man. When she started doing makeup, People gonna tell you everybody doing that. It's gonna seem like everybody's selling dogs. It's gonna seem like, you know, everybody wanna be a breeder. Well, be an option because everybody don't have litters all year round. Some people come looking for dogs and they looking for a Frenchie and that person don't have none, they can come to you. Now you an option. Now you might become their primary option. They gonna tell somebody that's gonna tell somebody else. Definitely if you're doing good business and now before you know it, you a top you a top breeder. So just keep going, man. Don't get discouraged. If you want to jump into this, man, jump into this. It do cost to play. You got to pay to play. But I'm going to have that in my next videos, too. Um, we expecting Gray to come in heat uh, sometime this month or next month. So she's going to be in heat soon. Um, the raffle is still available. So one of those puppies y'all seen from there is going to be raffled off to one of y'all. So make sure that y'all watch my first video and join that raffle. Um, but yeah, man, don't jump into this discouraged, bro. It, you got to pay to play, but I'm going to break down all the prices for y'all so y'all can be ready. As I go through this journey, because I'm a new breeder, I don't know everything. I'm still learning. Um, but as I go, I'm going to teach y'all what I know, because I do know. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little. Believe that. So I'm going to teach y'all as I'm going. I'm going to show y'all these prices and everything so you can come into this game prepared. And, uh... That's how we're going to do it. Thank y'all for watching the video. I hope y'all liked it. We got prime friends. I owe y'all an apology. Y'all don't know nothing about me. My name is Rylan. They call me Ryan. Whatever you want to call me, that's me. Hope you enjoy this video. <laughs>